All right, guys, thank you so much for staying with us. Thank you for staying with us. It is four minutes after the hour of five o'clock, and we are inside the ISUPK segment. Hi, guys, how are you doing? Shalom, shalom, Aisha. How are you doing? Good to be on. Thank you so much for asking. So let me just allow you guys to come in and, of course, go ahead with your program today. So today we're going to talk about those pastors and them who's acting like prostitutes who's against taking the job right and lying on the prime minister and saying well just to make it clear we don't vote we not have, we don't it's not a political party right but these pastors and this is the first time in history that you actually see in churches against the um the government and them mm-hmm. for all the time the churches and them siding with the government because they want to get this from them they want to get that from them but this is the first time in history yeah, so that they actually seeing churches is against what the government said. And you know, we have to thank the Lord for that. Yeah, so we have to thank the Lord for COVID-19. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so now we have to thank the Lord for the COVID-19 is breaking down and making people see the evils of these churches. And yeah, so the ones who have been seeing it yet, the ISGPK is here to make sure they see it. Alright, so this is um, Captain Mashak, Mayam, yeah, so that, and Igor um, I appreciate it. I appreciate being, you know, even being a guest on the show. Usually with my main man right here, Officer Galawan, in charge of the Trinidad School and in this region, everything Israelite, you should come to him, 2905173. Give him a call. Also, we are here with the ever energetic, popular, graceful host, Aisha Wells, on her fantastic show. Been checking it out from overseas for a while. And it's, it's so professional, sis. I mean, I'll get hats off to you for running a flawless show. Unbiased, you know, never get in your feelings with nobody. You do you do a, such a professional job, you know what I mean? I don't care what the haters say. Don't, don't worry about them. Don't worry about what they say. But that TT response, though, them fellas, it's an absolute problem. Like, it's, it's to me, I mean, Officer Galwan just recently showed me the video. And to me, it's so amazing that Christian preachers don't come together for nothing. There's a different Christian church on every corner, everywhere, all preaching something different, all stealing money from poor people, lying to poor people, having homosexuals up in the church, up in the choir, never saying nothing about abortions. Now they're supporting a woman's right to choose. But all of a sudden, they now could come together to say something about your leader who, you know, we need to hear or there with him. But the leader of the country, he's abominable, he's this, or his, his mandate is abominable, this. And the so-called job for this COVID-19 is bio, what do you say, bio-warfare? Bio yeah. it's, bi- it's a bio-weapon, right? The, the, the job is a bio-weapon. The homosexuality in your church is a bio-weapon. Right. That's a biological weapon. Why? Because there's no life that comes from homosexuality. There's, not, there's no life to ever come from it. So if anything that's biologically a threat... To your congregation is that sashaying, wrist bent, flaming homosexual on your church or lesbian. That's who is your bioweapon, but you don't say nothing about them. Why? Because they got money. They got money. They're in positions of power. They're very, very influential. And they could fill your pockets because really, you're just a man for hire. Wherever the money is right, wherever the water is flowing, your mouth is yapping. Your mouth is open. And now, because it seems like the poor public, the Trinidad public is so misinformed. And the, because of the internet, everybody have different avenues for sources on the COVID-19 and the jab or the shot or whatever you want to call it. Like, we don't really understand how devastating this thing is. The preacher is supposed to tell you this plague came from the Lord. God brought COVID-19. God brought it. Whether you believe it came from a man who ate the pangolin, which is the fact or whether you in a conspiracy theorist that think, give me the scripture in um, Samuel, please, that think a man made this in a lab. God did it. The Bible says, if there's evil in the city, I have done it. Find it for me. Second Samuel 3 and 19. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? I, the Lord, do all these things. I create evil. I bring down to the grave and I make alive. So no matter what you think, the Lord is visiting the earth with the plagues of Egypt again. And if you think you're coming out of this COVID-19, you're sadly mistaken. More plagues are coming. 
worse plagues are coming that there's no going to be no relief for you there's going to be no job for you there's going to be no ointment there's no pill to take but to serve the lord but you get caught up with these preachers who really prostitutes for hire what they're doing is appeasing the public the public the public is where the numbers are at they're looking at what is the potential gain from representing the public you understand similar to what's the um union leader you talk about recently Roger. Like Roger, right? You said Roger, he, he took the vaccine, but he was speaking up. So like he took the job, but he was speaking up on behalf of members of the public who did not want to take it, right? Now, he's, he's damn near like a lawyer or elected person to represent the interests of people. That's why he collects union dues. Really, he's doing his job. It's not the best thing for black people to be a leader in that position and making a decision based on the money. However he has that leeway he has that scapegoat but nobody hired these preachers to say nothing they went out there and say that of their own will because they're prostitutes meaning you could pay them for services and all they want to do is line themselves up to collect money as officer galwan was saying never have you ever heard especially christian leaders go against the government because that's where they get all the funding from that's where they get all the perks from but now they they align and have a coalition to go against them let me get that scripture please uh. first Samuel two please six. first Samuel chapter 2 verse 6 mm -hmm. the Lord killeth and make it alive say it again the Lord killeth and make it alive did they say a man in a lab mm -hmm. the Lord Re killeth and make it alive did they say a man created something to kill people or a man created something to make something alive mm -hmm. the Lord killeth make it alive if the COVID-19 is killing people who's killing people the Lord kill it and make it alive the problem with black black Hispanic and native Indian people on the world by and large is you think God is a sissy you think God is mommy mommy is there to nurture you and kiss your boo-boo your father is going to tear you six ways from Sunday even when you misbehave mommy know she mommy know after about two years old you know you ain't scared of her no more and what does she say i'm gonna tell your father i'm gonna wait till your father come home and what's the first words of the lord's prayer our father the lord is the one who punishes people the lord is the one who hurts you the lord is the one who breaks you why because he wants you to obey him he wants you to obey him and not your religious leaders because they're prostitutes they're whore give me micah please like how how in the hell so much abortion in the black community that's not a bioweapon all the homosexuality the molestation forget about it the molestation been a pandemic a epidemic everything in the black community for for damn near centuries right. and nobody ever wants to talk about it whether you're in christianity and your islam and your rastafarianism if you don't believe in no god if you're one of the first peoples you go to them young girls and find out why the hell they're acting out the way they're doing. You go to them young brothers and find out why they're acting out the way they're acting out. And they'll tell you after a while that somebody done violated them. And that's not a bioweapon. But no, you want to come against this thing that could help you against the Lord waging war with the earth. The scriptures say, honor the physician. He said it, honor the physician. This job could help you. It could it could make things better. You don't got booster shots or everybody had measles, mumps, rubella, MMR, tetanus shots, booster shots. Them same TT response preachers, all of them had that big ugly bullet hole on the shoulder that all our parents had from them big booster shots they used to get. And then they changed how they was doing the shots. And now we had to get them as young boys going to school on young girls with the little yellow card and the and the blue card. And all of a sudden now you scared of a needle? You're crazy. You, you're really making uh, merchandise of the Lord's people. You really want these people to see you saying this and start to come to your church and start to give you money. He said, um, he, said um, he must step down. That's what he said to Raleigh. He must step down. So if he stepped down, who going to step up? You? So now we can have homosexuals all over the place and more child molestation and more rape and robbery and every and drug dealing and, and stealing and murdering. No, you, you're a prostitute for hire. You're just a high-priced prostitute. I, can, I can't say the word I really want to say to offend you, but you are just a high-priced prostitute with a price tag on your behind. Read it for me, please. Uh. This is the book of Micah, chapter 3, verse 11. Mm -hmm. The heads thereof judge for reward. Say it again. The heads thereof 
judge for reward. What was the TT response um, coalition? The heads thereof judge for reward. Say it again. The heads thereof judge for reward. Go ahead. And the priests thereof teach for hire. You understand? They judge for reward and they teach for hire. I've never heard about them before. I ask about them. Down here, everybody I ask say, I ain't never heard of these people before. Meaning, everything that affected people, especially black, Hispanic, and native Indian people. And we know how much black people have suffered in this country. Despite the East Indians being here, the Chinese, the Syrian. Look at black people's lives for the past, since 1962, if you want to take it from there. Look at how we live. Look at the progression in our neighborhoods, in our schools, in our societies. Look at how we live. And they ain't opened their mouth to say nothing about our life. But this thing here, because they just want money. They're just interested in money. They don't care if you die. They don't care if your grandma's sick in a hospital bed on, on that IV machine and that breathing machine and hot and sweaty and die from this, from this COVID. They don't give a damn about that. All they want to do now is to appease the public. Black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man, woman, and child, if you're hearing my voice, you need to follow the Lord, man. You need to follow the Lord. They're talking about there's no scientific basis. The way of the Lord is not the way of man. Man likes to open up something and try to understand something. The man is natural. The Lord is supernatural. You understand? Man is terrestrial. The Lord is extraterrestrial. Meaning what? The things you think will not work is what will work. And the things you think will not work is what will work, or vice versa. You get the point? When, when the children of Israel went through that valley of the serpents, the fiery serpents, and got bitten, it was poisonous snakes. You know what was the cure? They held that staff up with that serpent wrapped around it. And that's where you get your medical sign from today. That medical sign that's on the side of an ambulance with the staff or the cross with the serpent wrapped around it. Go look it up. That ain't, that ain't come out of thin air. That comes from the Bible. Most of your everyday, you know, things or, or customs. You, you go to court. You, your jewelry is what? A jewelry of 12. Why 12? Because it's 12 tribes of Israel. Jewelry comes from the word Jew. Jewelry. The rings, the chains that, that, that we like to wear as a people, the gold teeth. All that comes from the Jews. That's why it's called jewelry. Everything comes from the Bible, the natural way of life, the structure, this it comes from the Bible. And if the Lord tells you via a man of the Lord, who in this time is commanding Johnny Hanna, he done said, man, go in there and take that shot, man. It's going to help save your life. Because the Lord is going to flood this earth in the blood of people if you don't get on his side. Now, taking it doesn't mean you're on his side. But if the man of the Lord says take it, you should adhere to it. And then you should come and serve the Lord. Then you should turn around now and come and serve the Lord. And not be a coward about it. Not be scared. And not be two-footed about it. But boldly. Because these prostitutes of TT Response and all the other preachers like them are going to find a new hustle. As the truth comes out. As these plagues come out. And as their pockets are weaker. Give me, you have another scripture. What do you have for me? Give me a anything you want. Anything you want. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 38, and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which ye may have of him, for the Lord have created him. Do you understand? You honor your physician and stop being so scared of things, man. Like, you should be scared of that homosexuality. You should be scared of that lesbianism. You should be scared for your daughters, for the pressure of abortion. You know the precious gift a child is? And they give it some fancy word, Galawan, abortion. It's murder. You have bodies on you if you did it. And you did it to a defenseless child who can't fight you back. You could go on the internet and see videos or the, um, what's called that ultrasound video of doctors performing abortions and pulling the baby out the womb and the child is crawling the opposite way what is that telling you the child don't want to die it's a living thing but you listen to these preachers and saying it's a woman's right to choose the lord going to judge you the lord is going to punish this house you're going to punish that house and you're going to make sure your mouth can't spew no more lies man he's going to make sure of it give me the um give me exodus 32 real quick 
you know, so I know we have a short space of time, and I hate to, to come now and push push this down everybody's throat. I know most people don't want to hear this. They say, oh, you all want to argue politics. And really, the audience that argues politics, I, I listen to, to the show a whole lot. And one thing I've realized, and this is not, no disrespect to anybody, the audience that argues politics, they don't argue it for the point of view or the betterment of black people. They argue it from the point of view to show how intelligent they are versus the opposing point. They don't ever consider what's best for black people. And I have to say what's best for black people because throughout every regime, whether it was Robinson, Manning, Pandey, whoever, throughout every regime, there has always been one bottom class. And it's been worse and worse and worse and we surprised at all the robberies. We surprised at all the violence. You're surprised because you never been on the bottom. You who came here on shores in ships at your own will. Nobody ever tied you up and put you to the bottom of a ship and whipped you so you could serve them. You signed contracts and was promised land and you came here of your own volition. You've never been on the bottom. You've never had to see other people run around and make all the money illegally and then turn around and call black people shiftless and lazy and criminals. Since I was a little boy, the most wanted people in Trinidad have always been East Indian. The Day Al Singh brothers, um, Dole Chady, the other one there who they bury with the, with the set of gold saying he was selling cars. I ain't never seen no car salesman so ever rich. Don't bring no game to me. I know what he was selling. You've never been on the bottom, so don't ever talk about my people like that. Because how, how you got paid off that fat El Razak was on slave money. Right. Was on all the money from the sugar cane and the cotton that paid you. Paid for your trip. Fed your children. And then you turn around and look at us like we cockroaches and we dogs and say you need to kill us and all. That's why the Lord brought COVID. That's why the Lord brought COVID. What was the areas that was affected with COVID last year? And you had the um, East Indian influencer saying it's PNM fault because... Um, she said the UNC strongholds. The UNC strongholds. Yes. Yeah. So, so the virus know the virus know the difference between the Balize and the rising sun. The virus got brain, got heart. <laughs> it's the Lord. It's called God. That's who it's called. It's called God. And you will serve the Lord of, the, of Israel. What you got for me? This is the book of um, Exodus chapter 32 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, mm -hmm. he said unto Moses, is this, is, is this a noise of war in the camp? Right, this was Moses coming back from Mount Sinai with them tablets. Coming back to give Israel now the proper direction to go and build the kingdom. And he coming back, he hearing noise, you know, he hearing all this noise. And what happened was Israel, after leaving captivity, because as a people, we are so carnal. We don't really look at things spiritually until we poor and broken and contrite. We're very carnal. We wanted to go back to, to Egypt. We missed Pharaoh's kingdom. We missed all the, you know, the, the, the flesh pots and the leeks and the onions and all the immoral sex acts that was going on in Egypt. We missed it. We wanted to go back, and the, the people started to pressure Aaron. Pressure Aaron, who Moses left in charge while he left. And Aaron succumbed to the pressure. Skip me down to that part, please. Give me verse 20. And verse 20. No, give me 19, Salaki. Verse 19, and it came to pass as soon as he came near unto the unto the camp mm -hmm. that he saw the calf and the dancing and Moses anger waxed hot mm -hmm. and he cast the tables out of his hands mm -hmm. and broke them beneath the mountain. And right, as Moses come down to the camp, he hearing this noise. Joshua think it's war. Moses said I ain't war. That's rebellion. And he came down and saw the dancing and the golden calf. Let me tell you what that's gonna be right let me tell you exactly what that's going to be that's uh, this is the spirit of rebellion and y'all don't gonna like this y'all gonna say i anti trinity i ain't no patriot bliss this that the other i was born right here and raised right here that's carnival spirit is a spirit of rebellion now i have no there's no scripture in the bible against partying and having fun and you know going dancing with a woman whatever 
but you most of people probably don't know that carnival spirit is an actual religious celebration to the god bacchus it's farewell to the flesh it's all about rebellion where you could go and do all the sin you can do for max at climax for those two days and after what happens the next day what happens wednesday morning you go and you get your ashes because now you're sorry for all the things you did the night before that's what it is about and it's the same type of spirit moses saw it right he saw the dancing and once again that's not our culture we have biblical high holy days in the bible where you party for a whole week with your clothes on not naked and damn sure not with them flaming rainbow coalition in, in the group read on was 20 and he took the calf which they had made mm -hmm. and burnt it in the fire right he destroyed it right give me the next verse uh, verse 21 mm -hmm. and moses said unto aaron what did this people unto thee that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them read it one more time and moses said unto aaron mm -hmm. what did this people unto thee that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them moses said aaron what did these people threaten you with what did these people hold against you that you allowed them to go backwards to do this and that's what this tt response is they're weak and spineless man they're absolutely weak and spineless and all they sniffing is money they all got bald heads and no beard it's one thing if you have a natural bald head that's fine that's from the lord the lord took your hair away no problem but you shaving it and having no you don't you know it's a law in the bible for a man to ha have his beard on his face and not mar the edges of his head especially a priest of the lord and you're saying they're men of the lord they're not men of the lord they're men of satan right. that's it they're men of lie they're men of mammon serving money give me a little bit more John Kahn, I'm good. 22 mm -hmm. and aaron said let not the anger of my lord wax hot mm -hmm. thou knowest the people that they are set on mischief now he, now he turned around and blamed the people and guess what's going to happen? This TT response ain't going nowhere. They ain't going to do nothing. And, and whenever they, when they ask what's going on, they're going to turn around and blame black, Hispanic, and Native Indian people in Trinidad who were misled and are very, very scared of the job. I've been, you know, driving around the past few days, around the savannah, everywhere. And the actions of the people are not, you know not like if there's something going on everybody have on their mask but it's you know they congregate in the same way there's no real fear of it but you're scared to take an injection but people dying though there's funerals all over the place i just buried my father I had to wait a month for a box a month for a box because there was none right. that's how much people dying but you here you scared of the you know a little injection you're crazy you're crazy. Really what you're doing is selling out so that people give you money. And nobody asks you to do it. Give me the other one, the, the last one there with the, the, the forehead. Jeremiah 3 and 3. Quickly. Give me Jeremiah 3 and 3. I, I heard this, this is the other hard one. Watson, you took, he took the vaccine. You, listen, he told you what you wanted to hear so you could put him in power. Now he's in power, he's going to save his life. I don't know the brother personally this is not personal but that's what politicians do people they tell you what you want to hear just like what a prostitute right. you know she tell you what you want to hear so you could do what give up that check i know your family hungry and she gone about her business read the last scripture please uh. jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 3 therefore the showers have been withholden mm -hmm. And there have been no latter rain. And what, why is the Lord saying showers and rain? Because that's what you need to grow crops. That's what you need to grow things. He's making an analogy. The things that come now, the things that you need to grow and prosper have been withheld. And the showers and, in other words, the blessings have been withholden from us. Why? Uh, and thou hast a horse forehead. Say it again. And thou hast a horse Forehead. Because these preachers and these politicians have what? A whore's forehead. Meaning what? They think like a woman of the street. They think like the red light. You remember that song? Red light. They think like that. As long as there's money and gain. You know what's more important than money? Black people. 
the lives of black people because at the end of it we the people that run the country we the people that guarding your businesses cashing cooking cleaning your streets if black people walk off jobs today the country would fall to a halt the most precious commodity on the earth is black hispanic and native indian people not oil or gas black people you always bet on black invest in black people you're going to get a sure return all right, well, we up any time. I want to go some more. You know? I don't know what, who, who are to pay. Who are to pay around here? Who are got to pay around here? Actually, up on the time. So I'm gonna allow you guys, you know, to close. I want to tell you that the numbers stayed on the live today. We have over 400 people, and people actually asking you guys to come back. So this I is this is new. That. Yeah. I so that. go ahead. Go ahead, guys. I want close to me. Uh, you, you got it. You know, I just want to say thank everybody for I'm listening. All right, this is um. Peace and Officer Galvan here. This is Captain Michelle Mayan, this is the man who, who taught me everything. Yes, sir, and yes. everything was come straight up from commanding generally a hand. That's right. Don't listen to no pastor, don't listen to no fake calm, don't listen to nobody, no GOC. Hold on, let, let me let me let me say this. Listen to them and then come here and get your answers. Come here and, and ask questions and make sure I'll prove everything to you. The brothers here will prove everything to you out the Bible without a doubt. Listen to whoever you want to and bring all your questions here and we show you the truth. Free of charge. We don't charge nothing. Right. We don't charge nothing. I don't want your money, brother. I want your service to the Lord. Not even to me. I want you to obey God so we can rule. Because it's about time we rule. We're the kindest people. We've been through a lot, and we don't turn around and harm nobody. We don't blow up no buildings. We don't do nothing to nobody. We just take abuse. Time for us to rule, man. Right. So lucky. Yeah. So lucky about that. Yeah. Right, well, yeah, the number again is 290-5173. Right, I'll call that number anytime. All I want text, ask a question. All right? Shalom. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause for a cause. We'll take a quick break. And when we come back, we head over to the sister island of Tobago. Oh, boy.